What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from high on Android and DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys another official Samsung case for your Galaxy S7 Edge. Now this is a requested case that I've gotten from a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people in the comments section on my other Samsung official case reviews for the S7 and S7 Edge. This is the new LED wallet cover Samsung introduced this year. This is a little different than the Clearview cover which you guys already saw me do, and I will bring that one in for a comparison to this case at the end, and also answer a few follow-up questions I got about that case. So I'll link the uh, Clearview cover below if you guys want to check out that video. But today we're going to get into the LED wallet cover. So first of all, a few features here that Samsung says you're going to get. You can see there that you can view and respond to notifications directly on the front cover. You can see here that you can see incoming calls. You can see your music playing, alarms, messages, and more. And if you look on the back here, you can sort of get an idea of what those other functions might be. You've got battery percentages. You've got... Uh, missed calls, all the various things there that Samsung says you can do. A couple other features here. It says you can know who's calling by creating a personalized uh, LED caller ID, auto wake when the cover is open, and you also get built-in interior card pocket. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this case as we go along in the review, look at the price right there, 70 bucks. So as we look at this case and we sort of analyze it, I've already taken it out, been playing with it. So I have quite a few thoughts about this case, quite a few things to say. We got to keep in mind, are the features you're getting worth 70 bucks? Because that's what you're going to pay if you buy this case right here at launch. The price is going to go down, of course, over time. But if you want it right now, that's the price. That's what I paid at T-Mobile store. So let's go ahead and get it open. And then I'll do a quick comparison to the Clearview uh, S cover as well. You've got a little quick start guide in here. And actually, I wanted to show you guys one thing on the quick start guide. So let me move this out of the way so I can get quick start guide out here and in focus. So you can see here, one thing to note is that the LED window may not work with wireless charging. I tested that. It doesn't work perfectly with wireless charging. That's one thing to keep in mind. Also, you can see here some of the other features that I'll walk you guys through. Unlocking the device automatically, you can do that with settings, accessories, and also setting up your uh, LED images for your contacts. So that's the important stuff inside the quick start guide, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys that stuff anyway. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take a quick tour of the case. The case does have an excellent build quality. It's got this leather material on it. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of a synthetic or PU leather. I don't think it's genuine leather. I gave it a quick smell test. It doesn't smell like genuine leather to me anyway. It doesn't have that small, strong leather smell uh, that I get when I do the Modimo cases or any of those uh, really, really high quality leather. Uh, you can see you've got volume buttons here on the side. You've got the plus and the minus, so you can actually um, control the volume without opening the case. You do have a cutout on this side for your power button, so you can just press that. That is going to be exposed, though. You can see you've got some Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge branding on the inside. There was some plastic on the front cover, also on the interior and down here. So make sure that when you get yours that you take all of that off. And then, of course, there's some Samsung branding on the back. You've got a cutout for the camera. On the bottom, it's exposed, so you have your uh, headphone jack. You've got your charging port and your speaker, of course. And, of course, the top is also exposed, so you don't have to worry about any issues there. And then right here is your card slot. Now, in my experience, this card slot does not fit very many cards. They claim a couple cards. I would only put my ID in there, and that's about it. That's about all the room it has. Otherwise, I'd be worried that it's going to leave the case sort of open and expose my phone. I tested it, but I wouldn't put any more than one card in there personally. So let me go ahead and put it in the case here. This is the black model. I've got the silver one as well. I'll show you guys what the silver one looks like. Now, there are only two colors of this case. There is either the black or the gold. So if you want to get this to match the silver variant, you're going to have to pick uh, black or gold. There is no silver case in this one in particular. The silver uh, clear SU cover matches the silver one really well. I'll show you guys that in a second and also show you what it looks like on here. But the black one looks beautiful, matches this uh, LED flip cover very, very well, as you can see. The black this year being a true black really gives you a nice match. And overall, it's a really nice premium feel. It definitely feels like a nice leather case. Samsung did a good job designing it. I definitely like the feel of this case uh, better than the, uh, clear, the clear view cover. And also the LED functionality is pretty cool. You can see right there, you've got the time, which of course is the main uh, sort of selling feature. But there are a couple problems with this case and I wanna sort of answer them. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the few things I do like. So in addition to the fact that you can see the time, that's really nice. You've got a cutout here so you can take calls, right? You've got your speaker, no problems. You can, your speaker, you can take your calls. That way you can do it with the cover closed. That's perfect. Uh, and then also you don't have to worry about 
uh, having any issues because on the inside, this thing has a nice soft feel because it's got the leather texture. So unlike a lot of problems that we've been talking about, this is the clear view. This one has this really hard sort of TPU material, which last year scratched up a lot of people's phones. Now I haven't had any scratching on mine yet, but I have noticed some forum posts around the internet where people have been saying this cover has been scratching their phone. So that's a question I've gotten a lot on that video. I have read reports of that. I haven't had any issues myself, but you don't have to worry about that on the LED cover because it's got the leather material. It's definitely not going to scratch your phone whatsoever. Now, the few things that I don't like about this case in terms of the appearance, of course, it's going to give you less protection in other cases because the bottom is exposed. Also, the power button itself is exposed. The top here is also kind of exposed, right? So you're definitely not getting the maximum level of protection. You don't have to worry about the camera because this, of course, is raised up. But overall, the protection, the grip is really nice. It's definitely not going to make the phone, you know, the phone's kind of slippery without a case, the S7 Edge. It's definitely not going to be slippery uh, in the S View, uh, the, the LED S View cover here. And also, it's really easy to put in and out of your pocket. So someone asked about this with one of the other cases. This one doesn't have any problem sliding in and out of the pocket. Slides in and out really nice, but also gives you a good grip. Now let's talk a little bit about the features because that's where it gets a little unfortunate and that's some of the stuff that I don't like. So you can see the time, that's great. But you remember there's a lot of other things that Samsung said we can do. The first one is an alarm. So let's go ahead and do a quick test with the alarm because the alarm does work. That's one of the other few things that actually work. So let me go ahead and set an alarm. Right now it's 322. Let's set an alarm for 323 and just show you guys really quick how it's gonna look when you get an alarm. So I'll go ahead and save it really quick. You can see we're gonna have an alarm for one minute from now. It's gonna go off and then we can see how it looks on the cover. So the time and the alarm, they work perfectly. And then we've got some other features, of course, that they claim we can do like music controls, also incoming calls, and then setting this personalized caller ID. So not all of these features work the way that you would necessarily expect, especially the music controls, because as you can see right there, the alarm comes in, you can swipe this, but there's one problem with that as well, and the problem is you can swipe away the alarm, but what's one thing you normally want to do with an alarm? That snooze the alarm, and you can't do that from the case. So you can't do that from the front. So you can get rid of the alarm, you dismiss it, but you cannot snooze it. So that's a big fail in terms of the alarm. The next thing is that it says you can take incoming calls. Okay, that's great. So let me go ahead and call myself really quickly uh, from my other phone here. I've got the Verizon phone. I'll go ahead and make a call so you guys can see what it looks like. You can see right there the calls coming in and you can see I've got a custom uh, caller ID LED icon. That's a skyscraper. I'll show you guys how to set that in a second. I can swipe it away or I can swipe to pick it up. So I'm just going to dismiss the call for now. I was able to dismiss the call. It went to voicemail on my other phone. So that's a great feature. You're able to take the, the call or dismiss the call through the front. And of course, because you got the cutout, you'd be able to take your call uh, without opening the case. That's great. So the, the calling, that works well. The alarms work well. Obviously the time works very, very well. Let me show you guys really quickly how to go in and actually do the customization. So you can see here, if you go down to accessories in your settings, you can then control things with the LED wallet here. Do the automatic unlock, which I've got set. That way you can go ahead and flip the cover and go ahead and open that to the unlock the screen. And that of course is when the secure lock is turned off. So you can go ahead and enable that. That's very, very useful. And then also you can go to the LED caller ID, which I did there. And you can see here, you can choose all these different icons. I set some for my mom. I set some for my fiance. I set the heart to my fiance. And then I set this one to my other phone, my other phone from uh, Verizon, which is the other S7 Edge that I just called from. And then of course, when it comes in, you guys saw the skyscraper. So this is pretty cool, but it would be nicer if we could have a personalized picture or otherwise personalize this, that would definitely make it much, much better. So I think Samsung missed an opportunity, even though that itself does work really, really nicely. So I think they did a good job sort of improving on the functionality of the general clear view cover with this particular one, because you can interact with some things, you can customize some things, but there's still more customization I'd like to see. And there's a lot of other things here that are really possible. All right, so you guys saw earlier, one of the other features that Samsung says you can see through the front of the cover is charging. So I'll quickly show you guys how that looks. I've got my portable battery charger here. Let's just go ahead and plug it in so you guys can see the icon you're gonna get when it starts charging up. So if you plug it in, there's the battery icon. It's gonna show you the battery and then it's gonna display the percentage. And then that's pretty much it. It'll show you the time and then it'll go back off so that it conserves power. So that's pretty much all you get with the battery charging feature. 
really not a huge deal, but it's a pretty cool piece of added functionality, I suppose, but not something that's really gonna blow your mind. Um, otherwise, we've pretty much talked about everything except the music playing and the music control, which is one of the things that I would want the most. So you would probably think, as you guys may know, Samsung put the Play Music app as the default music player on the S7 and S7 Edge. They got rid of their own music player by default, so you have to download that separately. So you might think, can I use Play Music to control music on the front? That would be great. The answer is no, no you cannot. So if you wanna use the music controls and actually control the volume, you have to actually go and download from Galaxy Apps on your phone, Samsung Music, which you can see I did right there. And then you have to play all of your music through the Samsung Music Player, which is right here. And then you can control the volume, you can control your music. So if I hit play here on the Samsung ringtone, you can see right there, you get the music playing right there. And also I can adjust the volume and you can see right there, the volume is controlled from this actual front. So that's great, but who really uses the Samsung Music app? I've never used the Samsung Music app and I'm not going to import my Google Play Music into the Samsung Music app just to use this cover. So in terms of the overall functionality, you can't use Play Music, you can't use Spotify, you can't use Tidal, you can't use any of these big music apps that most people are using. So overall, in terms of third party interaction, this cover is completely useless overall with that. And that's the way Samsung has done all of their OEM cases like this. They're great only for the stock Samsung apps. You can only get messages through the Samsung Messages app, can't use Hangouts. You can only get email notifications through the Samsung email. So, you know, if you're not using anything that's in the Samsung folder, right, then you're not really getting your notifications, you're not getting your emails and etc. So the only thing I would really use this for is the time and then probably also the uh, caller ID, the uh, little notification, uh, checking your little quick caller ID uh, customization that you can give a custom icon. But again, it would be nice to see a custom picture that'd make it even better. Overall, do I think this is worth 70 bucks? Not really. If they let you use third party apps with it, like Google Play Music and Spotify, then the cover would be worth it because I could interact with my music. That's what I would use it the most for. Is it a stylish looking case? Sure. Uh, does the LED look cool? But I'm sure, but I'm only going to use it for the time and then maybe for the caller ID functionality. I don't care much about the alarms or the battery. The music player would be the most useful feature and I can't use it with the apps that I use. So just to give you guys a quick comparison between the two, uh, the Clearview cover, there's a couple of uh, benefits to it. One of them, which you can see, you can actually see your status bar. You cannot see that on the LED wallet. So of course that is kind of a big problem. And then of course, the other benefit to this cover, as I mentioned, it's made of a softer material. I really would be worried about this Clearview cover scratching your screen again. It hasn't happened to me yet, but it doesn't mean it's not going to. So I think this one is better on in that sense. Overall, this one displays more information, the Clearview one. Uh, but again, this one has sort of a cooler functionality with the overall interaction with the calls and the alarms, etc. Both of these cases are overpriced at $60 and $70 respectively. If I had to go with one, I would probably go with the uh, LED cover just because it's got the leather feel which makes the phone less slippery. This one's still kind of slippery with the Clearview cover on. Also, it's definitely not gonna scratch your screen. And I think I like the LED uh, notification a little bit better. The main downside again is I can't see any of my third party uh, notifications in the status bar, which I can on the Clearview cover. So that is definitely a downside to the LED cover. Neither one of them interact with third party applications very well. So of course that's a huge downside to both of Samsung's cases. So really quickly, I'll give you guys a look at what the uh, LED wallet will look like with the silver one. So, you know, it doesn't look bad, but it would be nice if they had come out with a silver color, a black and a gold, but you only have gold and black options. Uh, and then one last thing uh, to mention about these two cases, neither one of these cases actually works with the always on functionality. A lot of people ask me about that. This case, the Clearview, you cannot use with always on. So if you buy this case, it's not gonna be able to see the time and notifications all the time. And of course, that's to save battery because the screen's gonna have to be brighter in order to illuminate through here. That's probably to save battery. That's probably why Samsung did not enable that feature. This one also doesn't work with always on because I have always on enabled right now. And of course, you can see the always on doesn't really work here. Shows the LED time and it goes back off. All right, guys, I know this was a long video, but I wanted to give you a comparison. I also wanted to sort of go on a rant about 
The fact that I hate that Samsung doesn't give us any real functionality for 70 bucks, doesn't work with third-party apps, very, very annoying. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to drop them below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer those for you. Find me over at dopetechdaily.com on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. The link's in the description. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate it as it helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.